Well, Valentine's Day is less than a month away, and that means the heart bags are here in full force. In this video, I'm going to show you what is currently available, some really beautiful ones that I love and would recommend, and some that are literally but ugly. A lot of those will be from contemporary brands, so they're affordable, because when you have a novelty bag, like a lot of these are, most people don't want to spend thousands of dollars on it, but I will show you some luxury pieces too, most of which are from previous years, but you can still get your hands on them. So if you want to know more about heart bags, stay tuned. <music> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. And of course, all of the heart bags that I talk about today will be linked linked in the description box below. So if there's anything that catches your eye, please go down and check it out for your convenience. All right, let's start with the worst bag and then go up from there. Sound good? This first heart-shaped bag is by a brand called Alea. Alaya, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. A-L-A-I-A. -A. This bag is quite small. It's about four by three inches. It is leather. Like many of the bags I show you, it is heart-shaped and it has a zipper that goes around the top. This one has two zipper pulls, which would be an advantage to some people and a disadvantage to others. There are two things I don't like about this bag. One is the strap. It's not removable and it only attaches on one point. So it's more like a lanyard, like you might wear on a necklace, even though the model here has it over her shoulder. The other thing I don't like is this little stitched seam on the top of the heart which makes the bag look like an upside down butt. Am I wrong? I don't think I am. This is not a bag I would recommend. Let me show you some better looking ones. And by the way, I have a lot of brands to share with you today because everybody's got a heart bag out right now. Coach has several. What they have decided to do this year is not a heart-shaped bag so much as a bag with their signature CC print with red hearts on it and then red trim. The studio bag is my favorite of those, but they also have other options. And if you're looking for something that's not shaped like a heart and that might be more versatile year round, this could be a good option for you. This is one of my favorite heart-shaped bags. This one's from Fossil, and I like that it's not red. Personally, red and pink are not my colors. I don't think they look great on me. This one I love. This one looks like it's hand-painted. I like the more neutral tones, and what I love the most about this bag is the strap. It has positive affirmations on it, like be kind and you're pretty and do you, and I think that's a really cool thing. The only thing I don't like about the strap is that it is not removable. It would be so nice if I could take that strap off and put it on other bags too, or put different straps on this bag. But despite that, I think this is a beautiful bag and it's one of my favorites that I'm showing you today. Fossil also has some other brown bags that have kind of graffiti hearts. They look like they're hand-drawn. And I really like that pattern too. And it reminds me of some of the Louis Vuitton designs where they have the monogram print and graffiti or hearts or the Tahitian print on top of the bags. It's a look I like. How about you? Perhaps the most expensive bags I have to show you today are from Judith Lieber. She has two heart-shaped bags. This one looks like a box of chocolates, and it's covered in these red and yellow gold crystals. Very beautiful, very expensive at over $3,000. I tend to prefer this next heart-shaped bag from Judith Lieber, which has floral designs and more colors on it. It looks a little more hippie, crystal chic. This is also over $3,000. And I am providing you with a wide array of prices and options in this video, the next items are coin purses from Karl Lagerfeld. They're heart-shaped, but they have four different designs on them. One is red, one is pink, and the other two are either white or black with a design on top of it. They come with a removable lanyard that you could then take and use as a lanyard for your work ID. And if you don't want to go for a full heart bag, a small coin purse like that could be a great option for you. Kate Spade has one of the best bags too. And actually, I should have said this in the beginning, 
this entire video was inspired by my friend Devin Christopher who just did a video on this particular bag and I will link that video below. And this fossil bag, I only heard about it because Winnie BLV sent me a link to it. So if you're interested in that bag and you like Winnie and you want to support her, click on that link, buy that bag, and that will be her affiliate link, not mine. This Kate Spade bag, you have to watch Devin's video because he explains it better than I will. But it's puffy, it's leather, it's a very pretty red. It has a red leather crossbody strap. What is amazing about this bag, what really sets it apart from the others, is the shorter top handle strap, which is also leather and it's made of little hearts that are kind of woven together. And it's so pretty and unique and none of the other bags have anything like that. The Kate Spade outlet also has some heart-shaped bags. They have a little top handle and a crossbody strap. None are as poofy and cute as that one and they don't have the little heart strap. These are more boxy, they're flat, they're more structured. They come in four different colors. My favorite is this kind of deep burgundy or purple glittery surface one. There's also this furry pink one. This is faux fur. Has the fur on the front and back, not on the sides. There's a pink one in leather, a red one in leather, and then there's a black one with white polka dots. So I guess that would be five, not four. Good job counting, Beckman. Kurt Geiger has a fantastic bag that's really different from the other ones because it is striped. It's not just one color and it's in multicolored metallics, like a rainbow. If that's your thing, if you want something very different, this could be the bag for you. They actually released this bag last year, if I remember correctly. They also had a black one and a red one in leather. I know Yota Style bought the black one. I couldn't find a link to those anymore. I guess they are no longer available, but the metallic rainbow stripe one is. So if that's your thing, go check it out. And that bag has a chain strap, which is different from most of the other ones. It is not removable, but you could, if you wanted a top handle on it, you could add a little top handle. Moschino has an interesting heart-shaped bag. I can't say I'm a fan of this one. I like the the front and back of it, I don't like it from the sides. The front is black leather quilted. I think that looks very pretty. The back looks the same. But when you look at it from the sides, it's not just a heart-shaped bag. It's like two flat hearts and then a bag in between and it looks Mm. It just looks not well made and not well thought out to me. So this is one of the heart fails, I would say. It is red on the inside. That's a nice touch. Vivian Westwood also has a little coin purse if you're looking for something small. They have it in red and black leather, and it does have a little O-ring attached so you can clip it as a bag charm. Now, if you're looking for something more subtle, something that's not a heart-shaped bag, but still has some reference to the heart, I have a few options for you. Saint Laurent has this bag. It's a little crossbody, almost like a baguette, almost like a Louis Vuitton Felici size bag in these deeper, more autumnal colors with the hearts. They also have this very odd little semicircle shaped bag. Look at the interior on this. It's like you open a lid and there's a snap pouch perhaps inside. Very strange. I don't understand the design of that one, but maybe you would. Salvatore Ferragamo has this beautiful little bag. This is very subtle. It has tiny little hearts on it. People are not going to notice, but it has this nice red. It has this pink interior, and you will know the hearts are there. Perhaps more subtle because of the color is this Tory Burch Lee Radziwill bag. This is a very small one, and it's not pink or red, unlike so many of the others. It's an off-white color, and then it has these little heart cutouts. And if I'm seeing it correctly, the backside, or at least the glazing, is red on some of the hearts and perhaps green on others. It's difficult to tell from the photographs, but but I think that's what's going on. And that's a more dressy, subtle piece that would look lovely if you're looking for something that's not red or pink or in your face hearty. Now for my favorite heart bags. If I was going to buy one, this is where I would get it. And I had never heard of this brand before. I recently found them when I went down to Galveston for the day. They were in one of the shops down there. They have a few heart options. I'm going to show you those and then I'm going to show you my very favorite one. The brand is Mary Francis. And first of all, they have a few heart-shaped bag charms. These are very affordable. They're about $45 each. They come in red and black, which is my personal favorite. I'm more of a black heart kind of gal. And this much more colorful one. And if you're not familiar with Mary Frances, like I have not been, these bags are all beaded. They have very intricate, beautiful details. And then she has three heart-shaped bags and they're about this big. From what I could tell, they look like they're a hard shell, but they're padded on at least the front, maybe also the back and all beaded. One is this with the peace symbol and a purple background. Another is this red one with the details. Really beautiful, love that 
one. But my favorite, and this is the one that I saw in person, is this one, the heart with the arrow handle. Now, personally, I wouldn't carry it by that arrow handle because it's straight and that seems uncomfortable. I would let that hang in front of the bag because it hangs from a chain and I would attach a strap to it. It could be a chain strap, it could be a black leather strap, something I already have in my collection. And if I wanted a heart bag, this is just the ultimate one for me, for my personal taste. Plus it's affordable at $330. So I'm not spending two or 3,000 on a novelty bag that I'll wear once a year. Not that 330 isn't nothing, either. That's still a good chunk of money to spend on a novelty bag. But in the world we're in here in luxury handbags, it's much more reasonable and affordable than some of the others. And speaking of those, I know that Louis Vuitton has released heart-shaped bags over the years. They also have heart-shaped coin purses and bag charms. Saint Laurent has released heart-shaped bags before. Some of theirs are a little lopsided, which is fun. I did find some of those bags available pre-loved, so I'm gonna link those below for you. I would keep in mind with the Louis Vuitton ones especially that they tend to be priced over retail, but some people want those bags so much and they were so limited and difficult to find. That's the only way you can get them and if you want it that bad you just have to pay over retail. So I'll have those and some of the Saint Laurent and anything else I can find that's a luxury pre-loved item. I'll have those linked below as well. So what do you think of heart-shaped bags or heart bags in general or heart accessories? Is it something you're into? Do you prefer the reds and pinks? Do you prefer the black hearts? Or is it something you think is just really cheesy and you stay away from it? In which case you're probably not even watching this video. Please let me know your thoughts on the hearts in the comments section below. That brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Bye.